Hello everyone. It has been a very long time since we have been here. Uh, I am doing something very exciting today with the fiance and I, something I, you know, that I just did a bad thing. I won't regret the thing I did if I do it. So let's find out. driving. We'll get him in the vlog in a little bit. Basically, I am going to Massachusetts in October of 2023 to get certified with a gala to do equine assisted learning, which is the path that we want to do, me and the fiance, Mr. Desi. He's actually going to school for um, counseling and psychotherapy. We want to open up an equine therapy um, business so that we can work together and you know, have horses help people feel good. So today we're actually kind of road tripping. It's about four hours and 20 minutes from our home. We're road tripping to go see a yearling. So stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. He is a gelding, he's been gelded. He is a draft cross, uh, black and white paint. So we will take you along for the ride to see this yearling. So, we also got, because it's a black and white paint, I got these adorable little sugar cube horse treats from a place called the Tombstone Tack Shop. I'll link it below. And they're colorful and shaped cake. Well, I'm going to take a couple out so I can show you. So, if you follow me on TikTok and like most social medias, I've already posted a few of the sugar cubes being given to the horses I already have. But this is a little car and it's purple and then hang on I'm gonna get more and this one focus here we go it's like a little green tree with a star on top and there's a couple multicolored ones and there's other ones in there so hopefully little man likes the sugar cubes we've got they match his coat and we'll see in a little bit it is very nice Welcome back. So we are, I think an hour and a half from destination. We just stopped for gas and chocolate. <laughs> and yeah, so I will let you guys know when we get there. We're getting excited. I, I always kind of go into things trying to keep my brain like don't get too excited because then if it doesn't work out, then you get even more sad. So, but I'm just like trying to temper the excitement um, just in case. So I will let you guys know when we're getting closer. Just thought I would have a little quick, quick check in and we will talk soon. moment to appreciate the sunshine. <laughs> Oh, 
there's no power lines. I'm going on an adventure. The snow, you might not feel anything. <laughs> Do you guys like it? What? Yo, is he okay to come whatever up? You want. Okay. Do whatever you like. Come on, honey. Treat him like your own. <laughs> Like, Just oh wait for a second, buddy. That made it's me walk. so mellow. All right. <laughs> He's like, you gave me to a stranger. <laughs> like, do I go with her, mom? Hello. Hello. <laughs> you don't care about that goat at all. Or the cow. That's good to know. So ours when the tractor comes, they're like, hello. Yes. <laughs> and my dad's like, get out of the way. <laughs> Adventure friend slash therapy friend. Hi, you bored? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Yeah. We'll get out of the room and bring, bring your friends away. So you're Frisky. Yeah. Yeah, and green. Oh, Frisky and green in springtime. Yeah. What a good combination. What a good combination. Good job, guys. Hi. Nikki, the best. What's that? Do you want to hold him or tie him? Doesn't or matter. Whatever, whatever, whatever you, you want to do. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing how he ties. Yeah, we can tie him over here. <laughs> He's like a little... It's so hard being so cute. <laughs> it's so hard being so cute. He is up and behind already. Very, <laughs> like a good hand almost. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's what I said. Like his withers are at least 12 and a half right now, but yeah. his bomb's probably 13. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. And like, look at the length of this. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! Oh, it's so cute. Oh no! Where did they go? I beat that monster. <laughs> and he was a monster. And he was a monster. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. He's like, oh, there's my friend. He's like, there is my friend. Yeah. Good so boy. Cute. Good boy. <laughs> it's like a mammoth. <laughs> better now oh yes oh yes that's okay i would never make you be alone he's like okay <laughs> i accept <laughs> i accept he says look at your funky mane look at it look at it so much baby hair in there it's so fluffy <laughs> Until I'm not worried about your legs. <laughs> He's like, whatever you say. I'll come in your living room. Yeah, I could do that. I'll Take come in the bed. living room with you. Here, hold on. Let's show. We do that. We do bring them in the house. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's kind of fun. Here, we're going to do a purple car. We're going to try it. Fingers only. Oh, well, maybe sugar. I normally don't do, like I said, my horse has never had. Oh, okay. Right in. <laughs> Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. You've got such nice teeth. We mustn't ruin. We mustn't ruin your beautiful teeth. That's my He's like, I'll be your baby. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. 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 What am I? Hello. Yeah, Where would you like to go for a walk? Come down. <laughs> or wherever you want. <laughs> They're all gone. They've all left me. He's like, you're, you're nothing to me now. No, <laughs> no. He's like, stop. <laughs> if you don't, if you're not gonna put something in, don't. Turn it here. Yeah. Good boy. Thank you for letting me mess with you. Thank you. Bye. 
birthday. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> no, and they're just being welcome to Equine Endeavors. <laughs> Are you excited? You're going to be a good boy? I'll join you. Yeah. <laughs> I will be. <laughs> She's like, take me. Just as a poster child. She like walks to bed. She's like, ta da. I am here. I have arrived. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Now, since you're mine, I'm allowed to rip your man. Hi. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, you're already so bizarre. Oh, that's the DNA test. Yeah. Yeah. To try to sort out what's going on. Oh, he... I don't even know if I got the roots. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still going. Maybe a white He's one. looking at me like, is she? Oh, yeah, he's like, uh. He's like, I don't know. Fine. I don't know, does this look like? This is not like dirty. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm like, what? You know, it's hard to do. It's because I want to get you tested. I want to know what's in there. Have smirches and snuggles. You are so handsome. <gasps> look at that. Look at you. Hello. Today, we got a horse for equine endeavors. <laughs> yeah. So, we did. We acquired the most adorable, smooshable, fuzzy creature, <laughs> and he's gonna be a year old this month. Is going to pursue the route of a therapy horse. And like an all-rounder, like riding type, but yeah, he's going to be a, he's Equine Endeavors, other than Isabel, who kind of like inspired the idea. He's Equine Endeavors' first, like, equine horse that was like acquired for the purposes um, of all-around love and equine therapy. So, what do you think? I think we've got a lot of work. <laughs> what? I think we've got a lot of work. Yes, we do have some work, but, yeah, but it's going to be good. <sighs> what a whirlwind. We've just stopped for some subway because now we have the four and a half hour trek back home. But... <laughs> okay, so now I can give a little update because Mr. Jesse's inside getting the subway. Oh, the lights just turned on. And I can give a little whoo, debrief. So... I wasn't necessarily looking for a new horse because the horses I already have are so phenomenal and they're so amazing and they all have such a special spot and a special role. But as Mr. Jesse and I get closer to opening equine endeavors um, therapy and equine assisted learning and all of that, um, I, we were kind of thinking about, ex not expanding, but I only have one horse at the minute that I use for um, currently like volunteer equine therapy and it's Isabel the blind mare who you would have seen everywhere if you followed along even just for a little bit and she's phenomenal but she has always been kind of like my personal private horse and she was before she went blind she was trained to like go to Florida and show the hunters so she's got a lot of buttons um, and she's really 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 awesome but I don't want it all to like fall on her um, to take up the mantle Especially it, because over the next few years, there might be a few more clients, X, Y, Z. So, I, Jesse and I kind of talked about it, and we were like, well, if we see one, and if it's right, then okay. But we're not, like, hunting or looking, and we don't need one, like, immediately. So, we'll just kind of see. Anyway, Mr. Jesse on Facebook tags me in the post of the horse that you will have just met and I was like oh my gosh he's so cute we'll just see you know we'll see what happens whatever and then I was in contact with the girl who owned him at the time now he's ours and she was phenomenal she communicated everything she sent me pictures and videos she's she's incredible like I will definitely 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 if I am ever looking for another horse in the future I will definitely reach out um, to her and she did okay vlogging everything so that's why you'll see all the videos all of it's okay and anyway so we went we met him i died a little bit i couldn't not um mr jesse was really impressed with him as well and he just had such a good 
he's not even a year old yet, but he has such a good foundation and such a good um, brain that I was like, yeah, like he's so quiet and so willing and so he loves humans and he's got a, the right sort of size like when he grows up. So here is, anyway, so anyway, sorry, I'm all distracted, sorry. So he's gonna be the right size when he gets older and I, we've got a good plan to bring him along because obviously he's only a yearling, but by the time that he's kind of like, I, I don't know if I'd use the word needed, but by the time he's like active in equine endeavors, it'll be a good time for Izzy to be able to take a bit of a rest from doing it. And especially everybody starts doing groundwork and just learning how to groom and learning how to take care of them. So all of that is all good. So they'll all be doing groundwork to start anyway, to learn how to groom them and take care of them and their behavior and handling and all of that. So nobody starts riding anyway, so that Isabel can be handled on the ground. And now this little fella, eventually, once he's ready, will also be handled on the ground. So, and like grooming and all of that. So I will give you a little info on him. So he is a yearling. Birth date is not officially known. Uh, other than March, so I decided to give him the birthday of March 10th, which was my Bubba's, my dad's dad's birthday. Um, so it's very special. And we've decided to name him Anders, and that's because my last name is Anderson, so I wanna honor like my family and everything that they've done for me, but it's also the name of um, a character on Dynasty, the butler, Anders, who's like a gentleman, but like handles all the business. And he's like a stand-up guy and you know so i just thought anders was like a super cute applicable name and i've never heard a horse with the name anders so it works so he's got my bubba's birthday which means he'll be a year old on march 10th and his name is anders so he's a draft cross now he was a rescue she rescued him animal control had pulled him from wherever they got him from um and she's had him for three months so she did like the halter breaking and the groundwork that he's done so far. He came like slightly handled and she's done a phenomenal job thus far. Um, and he's, I don't know, he's just so willing and he's just so like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with you, I'll get it. And he takes everything in stride and he thinks and he's only a year old and I'm like, <laughs> my heart. So that's Anders, thank you for coming on this crazy journey. We went, fell in love. Not just because he's an adorable fluffy baby horse, like he actually has qualities that are going to bring him along for equine therapy and to be an all-rounder like i would just he's gonna do everything he's gonna adventure it's gonna be awesome he's got loads of time to grow and you know come into himself and learn and experience life and get ready to see a lot more of him he's not coming home until june he's staying with her because i don't love introducing new horses in the winter just because it's slippery and they run whatever then i also don't like introducing them in spring because it's muddy and they just tear up the field and mr desi and i are having our wedding in scotland in may with our just close family and friends um so i don't i didn't want to bring a new horse in and then have whoever it is watching the farm i didn't want them to have a herd that wasn't entirely settled dynamic wise like I didn't want them to have to worry about that so um, he's just staying with her until after uh, we get back from Scotland and then I'll, he'll come home because then the footing will be good I'll be home and he'll be able to be worked with every day and all of that so the timing is good he's a good fit we're so excited Mr. Desi really likes him I'm curious how he's gonna turn out because right now obviously he's got the yearling you know three horses in one moment happening um yeah and i don't know what else to say it was a good day <laughs> and i love my fiance <laughs> oh my god he's gonna kill me um i'm not gonna sign off yet because once he gets back from subway we'll get him to give you his lowdown and then we'll sign off but yes thank you so much for coming <sighs> on this journey this whirlwind with us um this is like the first not step because i still feel certified but it is kind of like the first um brick in the equine endeavors empire so here's to anders <laughs> what how did today go in your opinion well we drove probably four and a half hours north 
where the signs change from be careful for deer to be careful for moose. I forgot about that. Um, there was no McDonald's or Tim Hortons within at least an hour and a half of this place. I was going to say like two or three hours. Um, uh, went to a, a nice little farm that had 30 rescue horses, a mule, a donkey, a bunch of goats, uh, rescue dogs. There was a single cow. A single baby cow in with the goats. Some of the goats? Some of them, yeah. Who were also the nicest goats I've ever met in my life. They were the nicest goats. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we saw our rescue horse, who was the sweetest thing on earth. I expected him to not hang out with us that much, but he ran over. And he was super gentle, and he was very good on the lead. And Jess got to walk him around a bunch, and he was very, very good. For somebody that's not even a year old. He's so, such a baby. Just a baby. Just a baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was very exciting, and now we are on our way home with a new horse to pick up in a couple months, and I think he fits the temperament that anybody would get along with him, and he would take care of anybody, so I think he's a perfect fit, Yeah. and he's awesome. So we're excited? As excited as I am, usually. <laughs> as excited as you'll ever demonstrate? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, we've lost light so quickly. This is so awful. Um, thank you for coming along with us today on this crazy journey. Because of the rapid loss of light, we are saying our goodbyes and our thank yous and our welcome to Anders. Uh, yeah, I need to come up with like some kind of sign off. Stay wild, be brave. Take chances. We need to work on that. Go on adventures. Yeah, we'll work on it. Adios. Peace.